right, I got both the headers up. I got this side, pretty easy. I didn't have to move the restart or nothing like that. I got the headers right there, and I got this side cleaned up. Did it all by myself. Now all we gotta do is put them in, install them, and right back. Down. I don't have to remove the starter like everyone once had to move the starter. Cause people say they gotta remove the starter to get to the bottom bolt under there, which is right there. You probably can't see it, but this is so I get mine. I get a little ratchet, you know, mine's the 13, so I put it on there, stick it up under there, right there. Then I can lift it up a little bit. I don't, I, I don't screw the top ones, then I grab it, and then I just pull it forward. I gotta catch on to it though. I can't really do it while I'm recording, but that's how I do. I just pull it, and I tighten it up. It's gonna be like teeny, teeny tights. That's gonna work. This one in, all I gotta do is bolt it down. It's the hardest side, I finally got it done. I had to get some, let me get a good pack for you so you can see. Kinda junky in here, I had to get some anti-seeds, you know, put it on there, cause you know, you get hot, so put that on the nuts before you put them on the car. Come back to the car. Take it out about five. Uh, yeah, I got five, this one five, in, six. all I gotta do is bolt right. it down, put the anti-seeds on there, on these. I got both sides in. Did it all by myself. Uh, at home in my garage. As you can see, I ain't got too many tubes. Just did it in here. Anyways, I got the headers in. It took me about two hours for this one, really. And then, I finished this one up. And that one in there. All I gotta do is tighten the bolts down, and I crank it up for you.